Hi, it's Dwyer, the editor of Keeping It Free. Blogspot.com. Earlier today, the United States Supreme Court upheld the constitutionality of Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. Right now, in politics, what matters most is the long term, not the short term. Right? You want the legislation to have a lasting impact, not a short-term temporary impact that is easily undone by subsequent legislation. The breath of the victory this morning for Obamacare supporters might actually hurt them in the long run. A partial victory would have kept the focus on the perceived good parts of the bill, right? The idea of being able to ensure those with pre-existing conditions, that kind of dialogue would actually have helped frame the issues going forward. The problem is now, <clears throat> the focus is not going to be on the content of the bill, regardless of whether you believe the bill's a good idea. The focus won't be on the content of the bill, whether we should have, <clears throat> you know, um, insurance for those with pre-existing conditions. Rather, the focus is going to be on the basis of the court's ruling, namely Judge Roberts's majority opinion that the bill is constitutional and that rests on Congress's power to tax. <clears throat> the argument is simply that Congress can decide to tax you for your non-participation in the purchase of insurance. Now before the decision there had been the concern that because of Mitt Romney's Mormon faith, many traditional GOPers would not vote on Election Day, right? Same thing happened, same argument was made in a slightly different context with regard to the 1960 presidential election and John F. Kennedy's Roman Catholicism, right? The thought was that some Republicans or people sympathetic to voting for Republican candidates would not vote because of a lack of awareness or familiarity with Mitt Romney's Mormon faith. Well now it's clear that turnout won't be an issue. People will be galvanized by this ruling and Let's go one step further. Understand that equating Obamacare with the power to tax is so politically unsavory that even the administration's own lawyers in their oral argument before the Supreme Court of the United States chose instead to emphasize Article 1, Section 8, the Commerce Clause instead of the power to tax in arguing for the law's constitutionality, right? The administration doesn't want the law equated with the power to tax. They don't want the law viewed as a tax increase. Well, because of Roberts's decision, it has to be. Because in the decision, Roberts squarely says that this bill would not be constitutional under the Commerce Clause. Rather, the bill is only constitutional under the power to tax. So that opens the door now, and it's a wide opening for Republicans 
not just Mitt Romney, but Senate and House candidates, to argue that the American people should not be taxed for decisions to opt out of buying products, goods, and services from private suppliers, right? I believe that's a very powerful argument. The argument, the dialogue, won't be over whether or not health care is a good idea. Rather, the argument will now be couched as whether or not Americans should be taxed for their non-participation in buying insurance. There likely will even be a quantification of the amount of additional taxes that will be levied as a result of Obamacare, which already is viewed as being far over budget, far over its initial cost estimates. So this is really going to galvanize the 2012 presidential election here in the United States. I think that there's going to be a strong move for future legislative action, even before the Supreme Court's decision came down Prominent Democrats like Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill had already indicated that they would not be attending the Democratic National Convention. Right? The feeling is that a close affiliation with this administration might actually hurt her chances for re-election. Well, wow, that was before this entire health care debate got recast by the court as a tax increase. If there was hesitancy before to attend the Democratic National Convention, can you imagine the hesitation now? I'm guessing Claire McCaskill won't be alone in her decision not to attend. Also, now the GOPers will have an easier time, much easier time, painting the Democratic Party as a high taxation party because now they have a Supreme Court decision that basically says, hey, Congress has the right to tax you. That's going to raise the fear among the American electorate of being taxed even more heavily, of having to deal with even more tax mandates. I believe that Obamacare supporters might have been better off with a partial victory, might have been better off, quite frankly, with the bill, at least the mandate portion, being shot down and then having a discussion during an election year on the bill's objectives and why they're important to the United States of America. I don't believe we're going to get that discussion now. Now all everyone sees is the dirty three-letter word that's anathema in American politics. T-A-X. Right? The power to tax. And right now it looks as unfettered as ever. I believe opponents of the bill now have powerful ammunition to go forward to make the case to the American people that if you choose not to participate in this election, just as if you choose not to participate in buying health insurance, there could be dire consequences. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for us here online. Visit us at keepingitfree.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.